Hello, what's up YouTube? Brony Sweet and Atreo and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how you can easily copy color grading from one image to another. So, I recently did a tutorial about that some time back and that was really a lengthy tutorial and this is going to be like a shorter one for you guys that love to use curves and you're just going to be copying colors from uh, this image and you're going to try and color grade it on this image so just want to get the colors from this image and we can see if at all we can apply them to this beautiful image so the way i think is coming to this particular image and come and get the rectangular marquee tool and you're just going to make a selection on the area that you want to copy from so i would select that and hit ctrl c or command c on the keyboard to copy this selection i'm going to come to this image and i'm going to hit Ctrl or Command V on the keyboard and paste it. So this is the image we have right now. So I'm just going to get my move tool and select this particular image. So I'm going to zoom out. So get the move tool. Or you can use Command T or Ctrl T to transform and change this. So I'm just going to... I'm sorry about this. So I'm just going to move it up to when we feel like it's covering a nice detail on this very image so i'm just going to move it around i think here is fine so i don't want it to occupy the whole image i just want it to occupy a tiny bit on this image so i think this is a good reference point and i'm going to simply hit enter on the keyboard and this is a reference image right now so just want to sample the colors from this reference image right here. So what you're going to do, you're just going to come to the lasso tool and you're going to make sure that we put the feathering as low as possible. So just going to be using a feathering of one pixel and hit enter. So just want to sample the highlights, midtones and the shadows from the images or from the image from which you want to copy the colors. So for example, this is a good sample for the highlight I'm just going to come in I sample this area then come to filter blur and I come to average and it has gotten an average color I'm going to hit Control command D to deselect and I'm going to look for an area that has shadow so I'm just going to come and I select this area I think this is a good reference for the shadows in the skin tones remember we are doing skin tone color grading so we're going to do the same filter and the previously used filter is always going to be on top so i'm just going to select and do that to get an average for the shadows and i'm going to look now for the midtones in this image so for midtones i could come and i sample this area because it really has those nice midtones and i'm going to get the average for it too just like that so I have gotten the average for the three colors that is the shadows, the highlights, and the midtones in this image. So I want to paste the same colors onto this image in order to color grade it. So I know most of you may have guessed it right. We're just going to come to this image and select this particular layer. So if at all you're working on, on an image, just select that particular layer of that image. And after it has been selected, you're simply going to come to the adjustments and you're going to come to the curves adjustment layer, just like that. So I'm just going to zoom out slightly. So on this, you can easily sample the from the white point, the midtones, and the black point. So in order to do that, you have to come and make sure that you have selected this icon. I hope you can see the curves icon right here. So we want first of all sample the shadows in this particular image so the shadows is usually the black point so when you come in you double click on this eyedropper tool and you get so when you get the eyedropper tool make sure the sample size is 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 average so i'm just going to sample this so when you sample you can see it has gotten the sample color right here on the color picker or this color window right here and now we're just going to come and hit OK. And we don't want to save this as a default. So we're just going to come and hit No. So after doing that, we just want to sample 
the shadows in this other image that we want to paste the colors onto. So for this case, I'm just going to come and single click right there. And you can see that the image has already been transformed with just a single click on the shadow area. So I'm just going to do the same thing for the midtones and the highlights in this image. So I'm just going to come and get the one for the midtones or the gray point. So simply double click on that eyedropper tool. And this time around, you're just going to look for our mid-tones or the midpoint and click on it. It is going to automatically sample the color that we want. And this is the particular color. And come and hit OK. So just don't want to save this as the target color for or as a default. You're just going to simply hit no. So look for the mid-tones on this very image. And for mid-tones, you could sample and look for the area that has mid-tone so this is more of a hit and miss so just look for the mid-tones that you want in this image that you would love to uh, do the color grading onto so i'm basically trying to use the color picker tool to sample the mid-tones in this uh, image that would love to color grade so just looking for those mid-tones or the midpoint so I'm just going to continue sampling until I feel like I've gotten the right point for the midtones in this particular image so I think right here we are good to go then we're just going to come back and now make another sample and that sample is going to be now to the highlights in this image so I'm just going to come to the white point so double click and now we're just going to come right here and sample the brightest point, which is this one, and hit OK. And you're just going to hit No. And for this point, you're just going to look for the highlight or the brightest point in the skin tones of this particular model. So we're just going to come, for example, right here. It looks fine. So I think we could select right there. So this is more of a hit and miss. So you have to... I look for the midpoint until you feel like the colors are quite closer to the image you want to copy the colors from. So I'm just going to look for the brightest point, for example, in the skin tones. And when you feel like you have gotten that brightest point, you can basically stop. So you just have to look for that brightest point. So I'm just trying to get the brightest point for this particular image. So I think this looks better as a bright, a bright point. So let me just sample from these areas of the forehead. And I think this looks nice and it looks really close. So I'm just going to close this and I'm just going to come and deactivate this. So in order to get a color that is close to this, you can now come and do some minor adjustments to this image. For example, coming right here to, for example, these curves and create another curves adjustment layer. So I'm just going to come and create it. So you can target particular colors that you would love to appear or look darker. For example, you want the mid-tone. So I'm just going to get this hand tool and we select the mid-tones. You can see it is automatically sampling. Right here on the curves, you can see mid-tones we have, here it is the highlight, so I'm just going to look for the midpoint and slightly darken, just like that. And I can, you can see that we are now getting closer to the image looking like this. So we can now come maybe to the highlights and you can simply uh, darken them a little bit. So make a midpoint and see what works best for you. So for this point, we could just turn this down slightly. And we could go in for the shadows right now. So look for the shadows and single click right there. And you can darken them to uh, the one of your liking. And you can see that we are now getting closer to uh, the, re the real colors in this reference image. So you can as well come and add some little bit of warmth to uh, this particular image. And in order to add... Because I feel like this image has really 
that kind of warm tones and this has some cool tones added to it so in order to do that you can simply come to the color balance right here and you could just add some color especially in uh, the mid tones of this image so we could add some kind of warmth to the mid tones of this image so just add a little bit and we could as well add some little bit of uh, the greens just slightly to around one and i think this is really nice and close so you can you could even just add one last adjustment which is uh, the selective color so come to selective color and simply uh, darken the blacks just a little bit just like that and you could as well get rid of uh, the blues for example in the blacks of the image so you're just going to move this towards uh, the right hand side just a little bit so i think at one that looks fine and this is it you guys and i hope this is really as close as possible let me show you guys the before and after for the color grading of this particular image so this was the image we had initially uh, before and after before after i'm just going to turn off the reference image so that you can see what we had before and where we are right now so this is the image before after before after and i hope you can see that it is really close to the image from which we are copying the colors from and this is all for today's tutorial ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating